Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's first question is which of these amino acids has a side chain that can become ionized in the cells and here is the variance of the answers and take a look at this picture and you would see that out of 20 amino acids only 5 amino acids would have R group that is going to be charged at the physiological pH. So let's have a better look at these five amino acids. Two of them are very easy to memorize because this is only two amino acids that has acid in their name. No any other amino acid has acid in their name. And there are groups, are chains can have a charge. So can be negatively charged at the physiological pH physiological pH of the blood is 7.4 and 3 at the physiological pH or neutral pH would have positive charge. One is lysine, another one is arginine and the last one would be histidine. As you see in the side chain R group they have a positive charge. You just have to memorize them so 2 out of 15 would be acidic amino acids and three would be basic amino acids. Now as you see at the physiological pH histidine is going to be ionized and this is going to be the only one amino acid out of these four amino acids. Next question in lysine the pKa of the side chain is about 10.5 and do you remember that lysine is one out of those three amino acids along with histidine which side chain can get ionized and would be positively charged at the physiological pH. Assuming that the pKa of the carboxyl and amino groups are 2 and 9 respectively, the pI or isoelectric point of the lysine is closer to and you have to choose one of these answers. Just recently I made a video in which I for about 15 minutes explained the theory how to solve this type of problems but today I'm going to give you straightforward technique how to solve this type of problems with three groups which can be protonized or deprotonized at certain pH and these numbers stand for the certain pH. Out of three, just choose those two which would be closest to each other. You see 10.5 and 9 is much closer than 2 would be 2, 9 and 10.5. So these two are much closer to each other. That's why we just add these two numbers 9 plus 10.5 and just divide by 2. And we are going to get so on top we are going to get 19.5, 19.5 divided by 2 is going to be 9.75 or we can say 9.8 and this is answer D. In some other cases, for example, if it is going to be acidic amino acid, we can get numbers which would have low pH. So for example 2 and 5 and the third number is going to be large number. So in uh, other case we have to add two small numbers and ignore the large number. So two out of three numbers would be very close to each other and the other one would be much further away so we ignore that number. And in other 15 amino acids you are going to have only pK1 and pK2, so only two numbers and again you just have to add them and divide by two and you are not going to have pKr. So as you see it is very easy to find as electric point of any amino acid, you just have to follow the rule which I explain. And this is all for today, thank you for your attention and see you in the next video, goodbye.